If, if you can just set the scene, um, 17th century Amsterdam and the early influences and in life of Manasseh ben Israel. So the Jewish community of Amsterdam um, was um, in the general European context, a fairly new community. There were already well-established Jewish communities um, in Venice, uh, in Rome, and in the German lands. The Jews in Amsterdam were mainly exiles from Spain and Portugal in 1492, as everybody knows, um, the Spanish monarchs um, expelled the Jews, uh, forced them to convert or forced them to leave. Uh, many of these um, uh, families chose to convert to Catholicism um, and were thus known as conversos or new Christians. Uh, but the Inquisition was always suspicious of the sincerity of the conversion. A lot of those families um, under pressure from the Spanish Inquisition moved to Portugal um, where they continued to have to be um, at least uh, outwardly Catholic. Uh, and then the Portuguese Inquisition and the Portuguese monarchs um, forced them to um, basically also force them to leave. Um, and um, I'm sorry, forced them to convert or leave, but really gave them no option to leave. Eventually, a lot of these conversal families um, made their way um, to Antwerp in the 16th century, where they were able to continue as uh, continue their business networks. Uh, but still within the Spanish and Portuguese uh, dominion. And so they couldn't outwardly um, um, uh, practice their Judaism. Uh, eventually, especially as the Dutch Republic began its fight for independence from Spain, many of these converso families that were in Antwerp, but also still in Portugal and France made their way to Amsterdam. And this is around the turn of the 17th century. So in you know, 1600, 1602 and thereabouts. And we find um, the uh, presence of several Portuguese merchants in Amsterdam at this time. And eventually this community grew. And by the 16 teens, late 16 teens, there were three congregations in Amsterdam, um, not always getting along harmoniously as, as congregations will but uh, flourishing both because of their, uh, their business connections. These are rather wealthy merchants, uh, but also because they had imported from elsewhere, from Salonika and from Venice and from Morocco, um, learned rabbis, because many of these families, uh, many of these Portuguese families that ended up in Amsterdam um, had been cut off from Jewish traditions and Jewish texts for so long, having had to live as conversos. And so they needed a kind of re-education or reintroduction into normative Judaism. Uh, by the 1620s, it's a, it's a flourishing community. Uh, Spinoza was born in 1632. Um, Manasseh's family um, arrived um, early in the 17th century. Um, and eventually, as Manasseh became um, a leading young man in the rabbinate, um, the the parallel in his uh, influence in his leading role in the community um, between that and the growth of the community. I think we have to say that as one of the four main rabbis of this community, Manasseh played uh, an important role, even though he was often uh, at loggerheads with the other rabbis and often in the bad graces of the leaders of the community. He was a bit of a rebel, uh, intellectual rebel and really cantankerous and disobedient. And at the same time, a lot of the renown of this Jewish community in Amsterdam was due to Manasseh's uh, presence there and his fame.